guys, it's 5.46 a.m. in the morning. Holy crap, gotta get ready. I'm pretty tired. Oh, they said I didn't have to wake up at 3. Uh, boom. At least I didn't have to wake up at 3. I hate. Oh, morning day. Morning ways. Mm. How about some orange juice? Oh, what the crap? That ain't happening. Mmm. You know what? How about raspberry? I can go down for some of that. Yeah. Well, before I start drinking this, I gotta change out of this shirt. This is the one I was wearing to bed. I like wearing certain shirts to bed. Well, oh my eye. Ugh. Flipped on one of my black polos. Ooh, I love these things. They're so comfy and warm and mm, just perfect. All right, guys, now I'm just gonna go ahead, get around and get ready. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry I'm talking so low, I'm just like really tired though. That's, that, that's the reason why I'm talking like this. Probably annoying, but bear with me. Got ready, got everything I need, and we're, uh, we're off. Yeah. Dark as crap out here though. <sighs> hmm. Alright guys, it's the end of the day for me. Now it's 12. I was in there for another hour. I actually got off at 11, but I, I just stayed in there just to hang out a little bit. I went and I had to buy me some newer socks and shirts because like I said, I cleaned out my wardrobe and I didn't really have that much to work with. So I went ahead and just bought, you know, because I had my discount and everything, I went ahead and bought some at uh, TJ Maxx. Or I would have bought it from JCPenney's, but they don't really have selections other than Stafford that I like. Like, my my main thing is nothing but Polo, Izod, Stafford, see here, Polo Club. Sometimes, every once in a blue moon, maybe US Polo, which a lot of people don't really like that because they think it's not Polo, which it is, and it's made with the same fabric as Polo. Not to mention they're the same thing. <clears throat> Wait, I didn't say that. What? What did you say? I don't even know. Okay. Uh, anywho, I am getting ready to go. I, you know, actually, I didn't know this. You get paid every week here. Didn't know that. So I had over, I had over three checks already that I didn't know about. So I got them in. So I used one check on, on the clothing. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I needed, I needed a new pair anyway, so... Oh well. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I was talking about I, because I, I I have the time. I have the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and go the. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go the back way and see if I can't go and show you those houses. I think this segment's gonna be million dollar mansion sightseeing. Yeah. And this is pretty much. Oh, Mustang. And this is pretty much what um, this part of Fort Smith kind of looks like kind of mediocre gas station look at that dude look at him they're ridiculous <laughs> all right we're now slowly getting into the nice hilly area I don't know if anyone did see my other vlog, but I was talking about like way over here. You get to see the mansions. Well, we're about to show you some crazy crap. I mean, all these houses over here are pretty nice. I mean, you can't say they're not nice. I mean, they may not be something as appealing, but 
the most part, pretty decent. I mean, you got these two over here. Oh, that was more of a... I don't even know what type of phone is that. Alright, we got these mansions over here. Big heifer. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And we have this house over here. It's very nice.
Yeah, guys, I told you. I told you. It's freaking crazy. Now, there, that's not the only place. I mean, there's other places that have freaking high-end mansions, too. But over here, like I said, over this mountain, I don't know if you noticed, but like the normal drive that goes through here, going the back way over onto the interstate, or you go over across and get over to Euphus, so on and etc. Well, yeah, when you're coming this way and you're driving by this huge hill, that's the place to be because some of those mansions has the outlook of like nothing but everything else, you know. I mean, it's it's really cool, and I love it, and I like going through there. It's like, holy crap, if you just worked hard enough, that can be you. Anyone, it can be you. All you got to do is have wisdom and determination. Without that, you're not going to make it anywhere. But that doesn't mean everyone's going to be like that, though. You got to have a little bit of, I want to, and you got to get with the program and be true about the fuck. You got to be true about what you want, and I just think it's cool. Oh. Sorry. oh no, you're fine. Well, that's that's normal. <laughs> At the end of the day, what are you willing to risk to become that? And it, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of stuff. I mean, mentally, physically, <sighs> and some people they can do it like that, or they're born and raised right into the rich family. It's just however it goes. I decided to take off the trail. And come up here I've you know I've actually never got to come over here and actually sit down and check out this place and it looks really freaking sweet now if it was like you know sunny and everything I think it'd look beautiful and it looks pretty cool how is it? it looks pretty cool the way it is right now but I don't know just I guess more depressing because it's all cloudy and ugh, I don't see how people like that some people do, some people don't. I ain't one of them. Oh man, this is actually nice up here. This is like, you know, on a Saturday evening, or no, like real early in the morning, right at noon, everyone here, everyone together with their family, and they all have like a nice, you know, barbecue and everything. But yeah, back to the, the words of wisdom. All those houses that you were checking out, it's possible. You can own that house. What are you willing to do to get there? Holy crap. What are you willing to do? Well, I don't want a big house like that. That's just ridiculous. I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice to have something that big, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I, I accidentally went down the wrong road. I didn't record that one because I felt like an idiot, but it was so crazy because like there was one lane I didn't get to show you. And that uh, basically what happened was I ended up getting in the way of this car and I can't remember what it was. I was, I haven't, I was in the way of a, I think it was a Lexus, and I was like, dang, that's a nice car. And he was going to pull up in his, in his uh, house, he was going to pull up in his house, and I was like, holy crap, I'm blocking his way, because I went down the dead end, and I looked on the other side of his house, there was a water fountain just going all the way down with a nice big swimming pool that had a see-through glass, and it came down and it had a garden all around it, and I was like, oh my god. He probably spent just maybe a minimum of 200000 just on that backyard. I mean, there's $200,000 worth of stuff right there. At the end of the day, you can have it. You gotta work for it. You gotta get there, and you gotta be motivated. You gotta have determination. Well, what are you gonna do to actually work your way all the way there? Not everyone's gonna be nice, famous, and rich. But what makes a rich person realize that money doesn't grow on trees and money is a pity money is pity money doesn't mean anything to us we all need to realize that money isn't what we need besides to survive on to buy groceries to buy this to buy that there's not one thing that isn't free but everything is free if you want to build a house, you can actually go build your house. You have God-given tools to build that house. But our hands, our backs, our legs, our mind. Once you have the mind down, the blueprint, the smart, the architect right here, you have the tools. Hands, your legs, your back. Gosh. Anywho, guys, um, it looks beautiful here. I mean, you can have your family, you can, like, all, like, on a Saturday night come here have grandma grandpa aunts and uncles 
you know, family, more family. If you have eight kids, they could sit there. Their kids could, you know, it can go on and on and on. But this is actually really nice. I haven't been up here at all, period. And if I have, it was a long time ago. Um, but this is genuinely nice. I really like this. It's very nice. Very nice, very nice. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go home. Um, because I just got to get home now. Actually, I want to check this out. Well, someone's going to have to bring their own grill because I don't know what happened here. But all right. <laughs> and there's houses over here that I would show you all, but I just... I really don't have the time to go back all the way through there. It's just ridiculous. Guys, listen when I say it is possible. It is very plausible. Very. Ended up making it. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Oh. All right, I'm coming in here. I'm gonna have a sandwich. I am hungry as crap. Good boy. Oh, hey girl. What you doing there? Ah. Oh. Fair enough. Oh my god. Look at look what grandma bought. <sighs> you honestly got to be kidding me. What else did she buy? Okay. Hold up. Let's see if she remembered. No, no. Dead gamma. Unless she did. Hey grandma. Did, uh, did you get the raspberry lemonade? She remembered. She remembered. I wrote it down, so I why I remember it. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Did you, uh, did you do any sandwich today? Oh, no, no, that wasn't. I am going to actually make a sandwich, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to fire up my laptop. I'm going to watch some regular vlogs. Oh, we got game day freaking Pepsi. Let's see. Let's see if we got it. Oh, yes. Yes. The bacon. The bacon! The bacon! The bacon! Alright, I gotta set it up for me though. Well, basically what happens is in the morning, I, I start to frantically open the box and throw it everywhere, trying to get one out, so... I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rip it off its... Uh, normal packaging where it's already set where I can just put my hand in it and grab it with no problems. This is what I'm talking about that I'm talking to my grandma. When you open this, they're all attached. So basically what I do is go ahead and pre-open the uh, thing so I can Yeah. That was the best explanation. Looking back, seeing Grandma shaking her head at me. Oh. Sometimes I find myself great. Since we got our base, we're gonna make the sandwich itself. Oh yeah. Well, at the end of the day, I got it down. All oh, snap. And I hate to do this. I really hate to do this. I gotta grab one of these. I grabbed one. You know, actually, this also, this is actually kind of good. Whole bag of candy. Mm. Mm. Dad, did you ever see this? Yeah. Oh. It's freaking good. Alright, see you later. Well, Dad's off. Uh, Grandma, she's, you know, doing her thing. Trevor's heading off, too. And 
I'm sitting down watching a vlog. So anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get situated, and we'll see where the day leads from there. That sandwich was good. Right now it's four o'clock. Yeah, I know, hours passed. I just wanted to relax for some time and edit a little bit of this. <sighs> yeah. All right, so anywho, girl got dinner ready and we're gonna check out what she made. Mm -hmm. Smells good. What is this? What is this? Oh, that was the uh, sausage, right? Sausage, yeah. I don't like that. I don't know okay, we got some broccoli. We got some bean dip. And we got some spaghetti. I want to show you what the outcome is at the end when I get done making it. Yeah, me and Grandma got our dinner ready. We got our rolls. We got our spaghetti. We got our broccoli. And we got our beans. About to learn today. Yeah, oh man, that dinner was so good, guys. Oh, that dinner. Ooh, ooh, ooh I'm so stuck now. Jeez. It is 4.55 p.m. right now, and I actually wanted to show you what I did end up getting. It was the um, regular uh, normal polo socks that I normally get. I wanted to get the gray ones and whatnot because these... Okay, wait a minute. No, I didn't put on my polos today. I put on my Nike. But these are starting to wear out anyway because I got like... It's dirty at the... Bo well, actually, no, that's because I've been walking on the ground. What? Okay, see right there? Yeah, no, my, my floor is dirty. Oh my gosh, I forgot the mop last night. I'm gonna have to do that tonight because I like my room all nice, spiffy, and clean. Besides the table, it's I can clean this off and it looks all tidy. By the next night, it will look identically the same, like that. It's ridiculous. So I, I kind of typically just leave it like that. And I have this dirty mess and everything. And, of course, I don't really know where to put the receiver or anything, so it's, like, cl cluttered over there. But this is kind of organized in a way, besides the top end. Eh. But, anywho, that and also got... What is it? And I also ended up getting um, my normal shirts that I, normal get, I normally get. The actual real classic fit. Yeah. These are nice. That's actually what I'm wearing right now. But this is a medium and it's freaking like huge. And I ended up getting the small one this time. And I want to see if it's any different. But these are like for the men part. So, yeah. So that's all I got today. Because I needed newer shirts because I gave away my old ones. And, um... My socks, I mean, my socks, my Nike socks are just like almost done for like the holes at the bottom of these. I mean, I wear my clothes consistently to the point where it, it just basically rips. And uh, once that happens or it starts to get holes, I wear them until I can get the time to go buy, if I can remember to go buy some new pairs. But since I got that, I can go grab my old socks that has the holes in them, I can throw them away. And I also like it because it's so soft. That's another reason why I like polos so much, is that the shirt, this genuinely feels soft. By the way, if you don't really notice the white stuff, or if you do, that was from the powdered donuts. I opened it up and it just went everywhere. That's why it's kind of like all over me. I kind of just left it there because I was like, eh, oh well, life. <laughs> okay guys, I don't know what I want to do, but I'm going to have to go um, use the restroom right quick. I know that's a little bit too much information, but after that, I am going to go take out the trash because grandma, I don't want her to go out all the way out there. You know, it's just right thing. All right, guys. Oh, felt good. <laughs> no, my stomach's been hurting lately. Yeah, I know. Still way too much information. Ugh. But anywho, I am going to go take out the trash. And grandma already took out the, grandma, did you already take out the trash? Grandma. Oh, okay, never mind. Crash right here. About to say. Right, go ahead. Grab that. Grab that. Ooh. I was wondering if you... Where are you going? Uh, trash. Outside. Can. You know. Yeah, Grandma, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to go to the trash can. Write me a postcard. 
All right, bye, Run. I'm just going over here to the trash can. All right. Doing the good old deed for today. <sighs> I'm so tired now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> Oh, great. Why don't you invest into a newer freaking trash can? This this woman over here, this that woman right there, she has the mind of a 1940-year-old woman. Yeah, she'll, she'll see something. If it's in still good use, she'll use it. <sighs> woman, you got the money. Oh. <laughs> I ended up catching him while he was being. Oh, good lord. Oh, my itches. Alright. Oh, it felt good outside, but it was just too... It was too human. I don't know why. It was better, yes. I mean, it was better later on the day when I was at the that park, but now it's just horrible outside. I don't like the feel of it. <laughs> it just doesn't feel good. All right, guys, to be honest, I think I may just go ahead and cut it here at 614. I do have to wake up at three in the morning just to get ready and get off to JCPenney's later on to clock in at five o'clock tomorrow morning. So for that, guys, hopefully you enjoy it. I did a little bit more than normal on my vlog, so hopefully you do enjoy that part. But guys, like always, like, subscribe, comment, share it, live it, love it, go to the bathroom with it, whatever it may be. So God help me. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. But like always, you know how I am. Until next time, stay tuned in for more videos. Stay awesome, bros. Skadoosh.